coming into the greatest season for the church, no doubt. But very dangerous days for those who will live worldly, who will not take the commandments of the Lord seriously. For he said, take up your cross this coming year. I believe we're going to see a number of things. And the th thing that I'm concerned about most is what is going to happen to the church in America when persecution begins here. Because it could begin this year. And I don't want you to miss what I have to say. This is not easy to talk about. Not at all. Not for me. Where's the dear brother from China? He's, he's in the back. Yeah. Get him, please. Today, the greatest move of God is happening in those nations that are suffering for the Lord. I just read and I follow very closely. I talk to uh, David Curry quite often. David Curry leads the ministry called Open Doors. He lives in California. He and I have become friends. And he told me something not long ago that shook me to the core. 279 million Christians are under persecution. China Bless you, brother. God bless you. His country, they're destroying churches. Persecution now is heavy in China. Now, here's what I feel in my soul. And I've been feeling it, especially the last few days. And I want you to pray that God will do this one thing. What's happened? What's happening now inside Iran may very well be the beginning of the downfall of the present regime. I've been feeling it for the last week. Now, I don't know how long before revival, true revival, there's no doubt, is coming to Iran. I am here to declare under the anointing the present regime will collapse and the church in Iran will be free to hear the gospel. And I don't know. I don't know if I will be alive to see it. But I know some of you young people are going to pray to hear the gospel. And I don't know. I don't know if I will be alive to see it but I know some of you young people are going to preach the gospel in Tehran Iran I know it prepare yourselves to preach the gospel today the greatest move of God in the Muslim world is happening inside Iran 
Any here from Iran? Anybody here from Iran? Where? Where are you? Come here, come here. Anyone from Iran, come here quickly. I want to talk to you. Come, run, 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 come. Do you know that the greatest move of God is happening inside your country right now? How do you know that? There is a movie for that, that documentary, Sheep Among the Wolf. You can watch it. Sheep Among Wolves, yes, I heard about it. In fact, I'm going to see it. I, I, uh, Chad was telling me about it, and he just downloaded it for me. I just read, and I heard from David Curry and others, that the greatest move of God is happening today in Iran. The largest church in the Muslim world today is in Iran. I made a mistake years ago when I lived here in Orlando. I got up and I said publicly that there's no move of God in Iran. I said that in the 80s, how wrong I was. I happened to be in Melbourne, in Melbourne, Australia. And the head of the church in Iran came to see me. He said, Pastor Benny, I came all the way from Iran to tell you, you are wrong. As I said, no move of God in Iran. He came and said, I came all the way to tell you, you are wrong. He said, I am the head of all the churches in Iran. He said, they just killed my brother. He was the head of the Pentecostal movement inside Iran. And he came to tell me, you're wrong. Don't say it again. I said, never again will I say those words. And now I'm hearing your country is, is experiencing uh, protests. Hundreds and hundreds in the thousands of people are rioting the streets. And I'm hearing something remarkable. That the greatest move of God today is in Iran is with women. <laughs> women. Did you know that? So I'm going to ask you, girl, to pray for the women of Iran. Sit down here before you fall down. You promise to pray for the women of Iran? And you pray for the men and the women. You go sit down. I pray for you later. Go sit down. <laughs> but I must talk to you about this because these are happening now. I can't let you go home without asking you, begging you to pray for Iran and pray for China. When I was in China, m many people don't know this. I was invited by the government of China. I was one of few. Pat Robertson, Paul Crouch, and myself, the only three were invited. And they wanted to convince us that they had freedom they took me to the Bible press in Nanjing, you know. I was honored in the people's hall for dinner. They told me, nobody comes here. But we have you here. But what they wanted from me is to put it on, on TV that there is liberty in China. And I pray I will. Stadiums will be packed in China. I want you to give the Lord the biggest shout you can. Come on. Take your seats. And I believe people like Nathan Morris and Ben and Danny and Michael and possibly your own children will preach the gospel in China. Because we're praying and believing God is going to happen. But how can we see revival? In these nations, if we are not heavenly people, I want you to say something that may be difficult now for you. Say, I am not a citizen of the United States. I am not a citizen 
of China or Brazil. I am a citizen of heaven. Amen. Amen. Can you say that again? Lift your hands and say, I am a citizen of heaven. Say it again. So the Bible says we are strangers. To the strangers, Peter wrote. 